Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John 12, 44 to 50. Jesus declared publicly, Whoever believes in me believes not in me, but in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I, the light, have come into the world, so that whoever believes in me need not stay in the dark anymore. If anyone hears my words and does not keep them faithfully, it is not I who shall condemn him, since I have come not to condemn the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and refuses my words has his judge already. The word itself that I have spoken will be his judge on the last day. For what I have spoken does not come from myself. No, what I was to say, what I had to speak, was commanded by the Father who sent me. And I know that his commands mean eternal life. And therefore what the Father has told me is what I speak. Jesus cries out to us, I have come into the world as light to prevent anyone who believes in me from staying in the dark anymore. The light of the world, the sacrificial lamb, has come to free us from the wages of our sin and darkness. But this freedom depends on our belief and requires our obedience. How many times have we become so caught up with material values that we begin to veer off the pathway already illuminated for us? Suddenly, surrounded by darkness, we begin searching out the light once again. As followers of Christ, we must remember that rejection of his word means that we reject him and the one who sent him. Therefore, rejecting the promise of eternal life with him. Today, let us answer the cry of our Good Shepherd and cling to the words of our Father who loves us. Let us remember that we will be judged by the Word as believers on the last day. And let us keep the light that has entered the world burning in our lives. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.